yes, the universe is huge in size, in age, in contents. There's nothing we can put on the table that can rival those measurements that we make of the universe. However... How big? How, well, there's the light from the most distant galaxies has been traveling for nearly 14 billion years. 10 billion years more than Earth has even existed, if you want to get a sense of that. And so, but think about it a whole other way, that if you look at the ingredients of life, not just human life, but life on Earth, and you can rank the elements. What's the number one element in life? We could mention the human body. The number one element is hydrogen. That's contained in the H2O of the water content of your body, which depending on how chubby you are, it can anywhere from a half to three quarters of your body weight is water. And all right, what's the next most abundant element in your body? It's oxygen attached to the water, okay? H2O, and both the H and the O appear in many, many other molecules in our body, in the DNA, and in your muscle tissue, all of this, and in the blood. Okay, what's third? Carbon, which you would have thought had to be somewhere on the list because you know we're carbon-based life. Fourth is nitrogen, okay? Fifth, I'll put them all together and just say other, okay? <laughs> so that's the sequence of elements. And now you say, what are the sequence of elements in the universe? The number one is hydrogen. The number two is helium, but that's chemically inert. You might remember from high school chemistry. You can't do anything with it anyway. Helium. Next in the universe, oxygen. Next, carbon. Next, nitrogen. Next, other. Okay, so we are one for one matched to the ingredients of the universe. And... One of the gifts of 20th century astrophysics is to, gifts to civilization, is where those ingredients came from. We trace those ingredients, the hydrogen, to the Big Bang itself, and all these heavier elements to stars that manufactured those elements in their core, in the crucible that is their core. They lived out their lives. They exploded, scattered that enrichment into gas clouds so that the next generation of stars would have planets and on at least one of them have life as we know it. 